Today on In The Woodyard, I've got a brand new axe. It's right there and I'm going to show it to you. We're going to talk about it. It's a Husqvarna axe. Pretty cool. Here we go. It says Husqvarna. It's got a Husqvarna tag. It's got a Husqvarna emblem right there. And it's the colors of a Husqvarna. It's a Husqvarna axe. It's pretty sweet. We're going to talk all about it. I got it from the Husqvarna representative for this area. He also gave me this one a while back. This is the splitting axe or maul. It's got a heavier head on it. I already did a video on that. That's a 2500 and this is the uh, 1250. So really this one is twice as heavy as this one. And uh, so this is an axe and this one is more for splitting. A uh, little bit shorter handle. We're going to go over all the specs and I'll show it to you right now. There is uh, a little sheath that it comes with and it's got the Husqvarna logo on it. Very cool. So a lot of you know I am not a axe person per se. I do use them but I don't use them a lot. The one I probably use the most is the splitting axe, the Fiskars X27. It's what I use most of the time if I need to knock a round down to size where it's manageable in the woods or I have it along with me a lot of times to drive wedges this is what I use it's a little bit long for that purpose but it does work so that's the x27 which I use quite a bit and it's got the composite handle some people love it some people hate it another axe that I have is this a single bit I bought probably I don't know 25 30 years ago um, I spray painted it black because I use this for hunting and I take this sometimes in a pack when I'm going um, backcountry like boundary waters I'll take this one with me for chopping trees firewood or even chopping through ice a lot of times we've used this uh, this actually saved my life one time it's a long story but the axe actually uh, got us out across the lake that froze over so it took us all day we chopped basically across the lake to get out it took all day it was Long story anyway. Then I have this double bit axe that I got from my dad and I've got three or four of these. This I really like a lot. This I rehung uh, a while ago. It's a really nice axe, um, kind of fun to use, but I'm not a young man anymore and uh, swinging an axe is a lot of work. <laughs> and I have chopped some trees with it. Uh, this one is a new one that I got. I've used it a couple times now. This is the Husqvarna uh, 2500. It's 2500 grams the head. That converts to just over five pounds. So uh, I think the, the length on this one is 800 millimeters if I remember right, which I think converts to like around 30 inches or something like that. That's really nice for splitting. Again, it's got the ash handle and the traditional Husqvarna colors. And this is the new one. This is the Husqvarna 1250. Uh, the 1250 grams, grains, grams, grams. So it's half as heavy as this one. So this one actually weighs like 2.7 pounds, 2.6, something like that. Um, it's considered the universal axe is what it says here. And that's what it says online. It's considered the universal axe, which is just a really nice size all around axe. Not too long, not too short. Um, I don't really like hatchets because you really don't, you can't get much swing with a hatchet. I'd prefer something with a little longer handle. I really like this one a lot. It's got a really nice feel to the handle. It's got a nice swell up on top here. So you know when to stop when you're, when you're sliding up and sliding the hand down, it slides really good for when you're doing your stroke with your chop. Uh, it's got a nice fawn's foot on the end here, so your hand stops really good, I like that. Um, like I said, it's got the Husqvarna logo on it, Husqvarna traditional paint. Um, one thing that's really nice about it is on the, on the, uh, the set here, the wedge is a solid wedge across, and then they have the round circle um, wedges the metal ones on top there to set it, which is really nice. I like those a lot. Those are hard to come by apparently. I've talked to a few guys and they say they, they have a hard time finding those, but there it is. So this weighs, like I said, uh, the 1250 grams, which is, it comes out to be pound wise about 2.7 pounds, uh, somewhere right under 2.6, something like that. The length of the shaft uh, of the handle is 25 inches. The overall length of the whole thing is 27 and a half inches. And on here, it says it's 700 millimeters. So that, that's a conversion. Now this ax, the, the head, the handle, everything is designed and manufactured in Germany. So that's kind of cool. So if you're into German stuff, this is a German ax. Um, and when I looked online at the shape of this head, this is considered a Rhine style. And I'm not sure what that means. I think maybe it has to do with the region they were developed. Um, the shape of the head is considered a Rhine style. And maybe the handle also, the way it's shaped, the way it's curved. I'm not sure exactly, but it's considered a Rhine style. And uh, really nice. It just, it's a really nice feel in my hand. So we're gonna do some whacking with this. 
right now. So here's the axe, the Husqvarna axe. And uh, I'm not gonna chop a tree down, but I do have a big branch that broke up a, off a tree there, and I'm gonna chop that up just to see what I can do. Now, the tree that I'm gonna be cutting, it's, it's only a box elder, so it's nothing really spectacular, but I just wanted to give it a try out because I've had this thing for a little while now, and I wanted to do a video on it, but I wanted to wait until I had time, and today's the day. It's only about 45 degrees. It is May. It should be 70 degrees and sunny, but we had snow yesterday, about two inches, so nice. Uh, Wisconsin weather, which I know a lot of you in the Midwest get the same kind of weather we get. Um, this axe just feels really nice in my hand, and I can see where this would be something that, for those of you that want a good all-around axe, I think this is going to be a really good one. I'm going to take these labels off here, because there's some labels on here. We're going to peel these off, and then we're going to do some whacking with it. The uh, axe itself, like I mentioned, the head weighs, I just looked it up, it was 2.76 there, I got the label off, that took me a while. I'm not that, uh, not that bray here. This one right here, this label is gonna come off a lot harder, I can tell. Yeah, it's probably not gonna happen because it's just gonna come off in pieces. So that little thing they got on there, it's just gonna be there and it's gonna wear off is what's gonna happen. Um, but this head, I looked it up, it weighs 2.76 pounds, which is 1,250 grams, and it is 700 millimeters long total length which equals 26 and a half no 27 and a half inches yeah 27 and a half inches the actual handle not cutting the head is 25 inches so just a really nice i mean it just it just feels really nice it's not too big not too small it's got a nice weight to it this is going to be a fun one to swing and it's nice and sharp too like i said it was designed and made in germany rhine style let's do some chopping Okay, so the tree branch that I have here to chop, I'm just gonna chop away and just see how the axe feels, uh, is one that broke off from a tree up above the camera there. This is a box elder and it's starting to die. I noticed last year the woodpeckers were pecking holes in it and there was a, there was a big opening up there right above the camera, I don't know, about 20 feet up or so, and this broke off during the windy part of the fall last year and I just left it lay here. So this has gotta get cut up and I thought, well, this is a good, a good chunk of wood that I can chop on here. Box elder is a middle wood as far as, you know, hardness of it. It's like soft maple, it's like cherry, a um, little harder than aspen. Um, not really a fantastic wood, but it burns just like all wood, all wood burns. And uh, it's okay for like fireplace wood or fire pit wood. Um, as far as BTUs, it's not a real high rating wood, but that's not why we're here today. It's just a piece of wood that I can whack with the ax, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do some chopping on it. I do have steel-toed boots on, and I do have a pair of gloves. So I wear those all the time when I'm cutting. And the reason I wear gloves is not so much that I'm worried about getting cut. What happens to me when I'm chopping with the ax is as I slide my hand towards my bottom grip, my left hand, I slide this one down, and what happens is I'm constantly rubbing my hands when I slide down, and if I chop a lot, I start to get a spot right here where I get a blister, oh no, blisters, but the skin actually wears right off, and when I'm chopping, I really don't even notice it, and when I get done, and I got a chunk of skin hanging there, and then it's raw, and so I'm gonna wear gloves because of that, and it is a sharp head. It's pretty darn nice. Uh, so we're gonna wear some gloves for chopping here. So I'm gonna put those on and we're gonna get to whacking. Okay, so I'm just gonna chop this and see what happens here. Now I'm right-handed, so I always uh, put my left hand on the bottom, right hand goes up here. And when I, as I do my swing, I slide the hand down. So I'm not used to a real short shaft like this. I'm actually used to a longer one. So this will be interesting to see how this works. But size-wise, it feels really nice. We're going to give it some whack in here and see what happens. Oh, she's got some bite. Pretty wood. Cutting pretty nice. Yep, 
Yes, I'm getting tired. All right, time to take a break. Don't get old. Whew, haven't done that in a while. It's fun though, it's great exercise. Very pretty wood, as you can see the grain here. Um, box elder has a lot of color in it. It's very uh, orangish, and then there's pink streaks. Um, the grain on the inside, the closer to the middle, is very pretty wood. And uh, unfortunately, it's not a real hard, hard wood. It's, like I said, it's kind of middle, middle of the pack as far as hardwood. Okay, caught my breath, I'm gonna do some more chopping. Okay, I just moved the camera to the other side and uh, took about a 30 second breather. I'm gonna chop some more. So the reason I moved to the other side, I was going low over here and I got high here. So now I'm gonna chop the opposite side. It's just easier that way instead of all on one side. So. Switch again. Hope oh, she's starting to go. Oh, look at that. We're through. All right. Wow. I gotta tell you, I haven't done that in a while. Look at how pretty that wood is. <sighs> Too bad. It's a wood that rots fairly easy. Very pretty. Oranges, pinks, creams. Very pretty wood. <sighs> My heart's pounding. I'm breathing heavy. <sighs> that felt good. I gotta do that more often. Every once in a while, I gotta get this thing out and do some whacking with it, because that is great exercise. There's a reason why years ago, boxers used to use the ax and they would go chop wood. For upper body and your core strength, shoulders, arms, back, legs, I mean, you use everything when you're swinging an ax. And uh, this is a fun one to swing. It cuts really nice. I mean, you could just tell right away it was cutting really good. Now, the cuts weren't as deep as like a double bit, the big, heavier double bit that I have. Um, because it's a lighter head and uh, but if you're gonna carry it all day long this would be a lot nicer to carry the shorter shaft and uh, the shape of the head very nice so the Husqvarna okay I'm gonna do a little more chopping wow you can really bury it deep fast going with the grain holy smokes it really 
has a nice slender taper to the head so it bites fast yeah look at that that is it's nice and it feels really nice and solid and i like the thicker upper part here so it gives you a little more strength up on the topper the top end of the shaft wow yeah she really bites really well really fast and that's just that's just giving it an easy swing it is it is nice so up there's where the branch was kind of filled this whole area up in here and then it broke off like i said in a windstorm and there it is so that's got to get cleaned up and uh my old wood yard is over there that's where everything used to be i only got a few little pieces over here now so we're going to take this axe now and i'm going to go into the woods and we're going to do some limbing of some trees i'll find some small trees that need limbs cut i'll just see how it does with that because i think it's gonna be really nice for that not too big not too small so let's go give it some more wax so right here is a good place to start this is the kind of stuff i trim out every year around these trees where i do my photography and uh, this would be a, a good example of uh something that'll work really good now i could use a trimmer on these because they're just little um like thorn apple type of bushes yeah it's had a, a nice little head on it so yeah and you can choke up on it and get some control on it so it works pretty good for that let's give this one a chop here oh yeah it takes it right off trim some of these little guys off all right let's go to another spot where some bigger branches here's another example this little tree right here doesn't need this guy um, sucking life out of it so it's gonna i don't want to hit the other tree so i'm just kind of hitting it gently there we go very bouncy there you go another branch is down now we're going to take it over here where there's some tree the branches that i've been wanting to cut for a while anyway this is my little creek in the back of my property for some of you have seen it before um i do a lot of photography right in this area here this is very pretty in the summertime we have flowers that grow all over and around through here so it's a nice pretty area and uh there are some branches that are always in my way so i decided to come over here and do some whacking so i'm over here another piece of my property where there's some branches that broke off that are just kind of hanging here and just going to trim these off and again this isn't anything special here come on there we go i just want to get these taken off stuff like that and a lot of you will say why don't you just get a chainsaw and cut it well yeah i could this would be kind of handy once in a while to have just to trim little pieces off here and there little branches for those of you that are going on camping trips this would be a really nice size axe to have. Um, not that you have to get the Savarna one, but it is pretty darn nice. As my good friend Lloyd Christmas would say, I like it, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. That's what he would say. And uh, very nice axe, gonna go do some more. There's another little tree and there's a good chance this tree's gonna die it's an ash tree uh, they're all dying around here so it's right on the edge of my property here so i'm gonna give this a, a few trimmings there's a couple little branches here that can be whacked off yeah and there's a vine going on here i'm gonna pull that down we got grape vines everywhere around here and they just grow up and then they eventually just kill the tree because they're basically their parasite. One down here, one right here. Trims that nice. Now I'm gonna try a little bigger one up here. There's about a one inch, looks like a dead branch too. So this is gonna be a dry, dead piece here. Oh yeah. Okay, it wasn't dead, it was very green. There we go trimmed it off and again a saw a pruning saw or a chainsaw would do the same thing but i wanted to play with the axe so we got her out so there it is the husqvarna 1250 a standard traditional axe
Works really good. I like it. I like it a lot. That's it for today, folks. You know what to do. Poke the buttons. I'll be back tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. with another video just for you. Between now and then, you're going to go to my channel. You're going to watch another video. There's over a 1,000 videos to watch. Go. Go now. Good night, Irene. Mm -hmm.